Hello everyone. This is a review of the EMP Tech speakers that I've ordered to replace my surround sound speakers in the back. I was on the fence about a bipole or a monopole, so I ordered one of each to do some testing. Here is the monopole bookshelf speaker, ordered in black. R5BIB, black bookshelf speaker. And then you have your bipole, which is a surround speaker on wall R55 WIB in black just got them in today pretty excited about doing some testing you get a 30-day trial with them so if you and that's the reason I ordered one of each because I didn't know which one I was really gonna like I never ran bipoles I've always ran monopole bookshelf speakers for the surrounds but decided to try them both so I will be sending one of them back probably unless I decide to keep them both but more than likely sending one of them back and I don't know which one yet. So let's start off with this one. It's gonna be kind of hard to do it myself, but I'm gonna try my best here and not cut my fingers open. I'm gonna to try to keep the boxes so I can have the, uh, the ones that I returned. Get a nice manual. Almost cut the manual in half, but yeah, pretty nice. And I've heard a lot of great reviews on absforum.com, so it's one of the reasons I chose this company. And I'm not looking to spend a million dollars in surround sound, but I do want a nice sound when I'm listening to it. So anyway, let's try to get this open here. Nice foam in there. As you can tell, nicely packed. Did have a damage on the box. I made note of that and took the picture before I opened them up. Let's see. Uh, right. And the speaker, here's one of them, just for reference purposes. Let's move this out the way. Looks, looks like they wrapped up well into a, uh, looks like it could be a, uh, some type of cloth, which is normal for, for, for nice speakers, keep it from getting scratched up. Oh, here you go. And here it is. Oh man, that's a beautiful speaker. Didn't realize how shiny it was. I chose the black ash, uh, gloss black ash. It's got feet on it already. Nice speaker. Again, this is the EMP Tech speakers. Got inserts for your mounts. So if you choose to mount it on a wall, you got bracket mounts, which is really nice. Got your, your binding post. Again, it takes a banana plug or just put the wire in it, which is normally what I do. Your porthole, beautiful speaker. This is the front. As you can see, it's got RBH on the grill. RBH is a really nice company. Excuse me for a minute. I'm trying to get the speaker set up. Okay, there we go. And there's a picture of the, the a photo of the speaker itself. Get your woofer, your tweeter. And again, it's really, really a beautiful design. Really impressed with it. Really impressed with it. Okay, so that's it for that one. Tell you what, just leave this off. Just push this off to the side. Use a knife. Check out the surrounds. These are the ones I'm excited about because I've never ran any bipole surround sound speakers. So I'm pretty excited to go ahead and try to see how it sounds. The biggest comments I've seen on the internet is that the bipolar speakers sound diffused. Uh, there's really no direction. You got, and I'll show you here guys in a minute. Oh, nice. You got some mounting hardware, which I probably wouldn't use these anchors. But, and then again, another manual. So let's go ahead and take this off. Out, rather. 
I apologize for the video, guys. I'm, I'm here by myself doing this and uh, trying to do the best I can just for an unboxing on these EMP speakers because I looked for one myself before I ordered them and I couldn't find anything. So, uh, wow. Okay. All right. And this is the surround speaker. Again, nice, nicely covered. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna move some stuff around here real quick and kind of set the speaker upright so you can actually see it. So hang with me for a minute. All right, guys, sorry about that, but I am back. And there is your bipole surround sound speaker from EMP Tech. And again, just to kind of let you guys know what I'm talking about, for those who don't know, on each side, you got the same identical speaker. You got yourself a, uh, I think it's a five and a quarter inch woofer and your tweeter here. So this is, again, this is the Black Ash gloss black ash and then you got the same setup on this side as you can see there so essentially you got two speakers but not facing the listener and that's curiously what I'm interested in and that's where it becomes the diffuse sound so again this is just an unboxing just to let you guys know how they come in how they packed packed very nice give a 10 out of 10 on that Although I've seen some damage from FedEx, and that was FedEx's fault. Uh, the, the, the finish on them is better than I expected. Uh, I, I'm, I'm wow. I, I thought it was going to be a, a more of a, a flat gloss uh, finish, but it's, it's a high gloss ash finish. Black. They also offer the burl, which I chose to go black. And in, in the back of these things, you can see it, you got two mounting holes here. I don't know if you can see it, but you got one here. Kind of bad lighting, but you got another one here and you also got your binding post here. So, I'm pretty excited to put them in and check them all out. And they will be going up on the walls where my monopoles originally were. So essentially what I did is I took the two backs around, moved them to the front of the room. Next, I built some sh uh, racks some shelves for the uh, monopoles to go next to the center. So I got my center, my left and right. I got my front height on my right, my front height on my left. So I'm gonna run the five speakers in the front and I'm gonna put the, the EMP text in the back for now. And again, eventually I will replace all system speakers with EMP text if I like the sound. Again, I appreciate your time and any questions, let me know, and I'm sorry for the video, and uh, again, I was doing this solo, so I didn't have nobody to assist me in putting a video together, so, uh, but I was, you know, I like to film this kind of stuff because I know people are interested in the unboxing of things, so I will make another video as I get closer to the finished product. I got to run my wire in the wall and do a few little modifications, but we'll be up and soon running, so if you got any questions, hit me up. Peace.